Coach Lynn Beer says you guys didn't rebound the ball well, but you all rebounded the Mystics by 12. Did you guys feel um, that was an uh, advantage for you guys on the inside with you and um, with Liz? I mean, yeah, uh, I think we're a pretty big team across the board. So, you know, we really had to just come up with the 50-50 balls. But, I mean, to see that, to still out-rebound by 12 and still have a bad rebounding night, I think that shows just that we just got to work harder. We really have to just go out there and come up with those rebounds, always. If you guys could do me a favor and just introduce yourselves, let them know who you are and what your uh, media affiliation is. Thank you. Aria Schwartz, Windsider. How's it going? Uh, can you talk to me a little bit about getting over the hump of that last game? I mean, it's got to be some sort of a hangover. How do you get refocused for this game? Um, I think, I don't know, I can't, I can only speak for myself, but I think you can't get too high with highs and you can't get too low with your lows. And I think that's the biggest thing. We had 24 hours to kind of, ooh, yeah, oh my God, retweet and favorite, all that good stuff. But we knew that the Mystics is going to be a challenge for us, so we had to just turn the page and focus on them. So uh, for me, it wasn't that hard to get over it. <laughs> Eric Ayala, High Post Hoops. Um, I was wondering uh, for you, Kayla, if you could talk a little bit about Kelsey Plum coming off the bench. Um, she seemed pretty, pretty fired up in this uh, game one. And uh, what do you think she was able to do um, as far as in integrating some energy on both sides of the court? Uh, well, you know, Plum, she's continuing to work on her defensive energy, and I think that kind of translates into her offensive confidence. Um, you know, but she's just a worker. And we know that, and I think she loves a big moment. We all know what she did in, in college, and she's continued to work on her game. And she lives for moments like this, and she brings the energy. It's just kind of who she is. It's who she's become in this league, um, and that's who we expect her to be. Clint Yates, ESPN. When, when the fourth quarter, you know, lead the deficit, you guys pulled back to about two. What were, you know, what were you guys thinking in terms of what you were doing well to get them out of their space? Because they, you know, they blow a lot of teams out of this building, and that, that was not happening. Um, what were we thinking? I mean, I, th I think our defense was a yeah. presence at that moment. Um, we got a couple shot clock violations. We made them take a couple uh, tough shots. Uh, we were able to make some plays on the offensive end. But, you know, playing the number one team in their building, you know they're going to keep keep coming at you and keep coming at you. And I think um, we were right there. We were where we wanted to be. But it was little mistakes that we had had in the offensive rebounds. I think we gave up yeah. 10 offensive rebounds for 22 points. You know, you take half of those away, we're not even worried about this last play or, you know, the last four minutes. So. It's things like that that translate. It's the value of two points that the coach continues to talk about. The possessions that led up to that, that moment of us having a claw back in somebody else's building that um, we just couldn't capitalize on. Yeah, and to go off that, it's the turnovers as well. Uh, third quarter really came out and turned the ball over when we should have. And, you know, the Mystics is a team that's good at third quarter. They win the third quarter. So, you know, it, like K-Max said, it's, it's a lot of the in the middle of the game, not just the fourth quarter, but leading up to that, that we got to really lock down on. Um, Amber Dodd, HoopFeet.com. Hello. Um, if I could get a comment from both of you, Coach said um, whether it been the three guard um, offense or the big offense that he was able, to, um, the Washington Mystics were able to throw at you. You guys were able to keep your composure. Can you kind of talk about um, how that went tonight for you guys? Um, I think when they go small, we can go small. When they go big, we can go big as well. So I think we match up pretty well with them. And uh, that's just my comment on that. I think we just got to continue to see when they go into those lineups and do the same for us. Uh, yeah, we, we pride ourselves on being able to attack no matter what the adversity is. We know they can play a big big lineup with Mason and Deladon, and we have Derek and Hamby, six women of the year. So we, we pride ourselves on who we are. Uh, I think that's who we've been all year long. Um, we know who we are. We're confident in that, and whatever they want to throw us, we got something for them. Uh, Matt Alentuck, SB Nation. Um, Asia or Kayla, I'm not sure uh, who out of you or if you've seen a replay of the final play, but what was your takeaway from uh, the non foul call? Uh, I think it really just kind of started not even with the non-foul call. I think it just comes with the calling the timeout, us being aware in that situation. Uh, I didn't have a view of it at all, so I really don't have a comment on it. But, I mean, I think it really just comes to it wasn't just that. It, it was the plays and the, and the turnovers that we had and the rebounds that we missed all adding up to that. So we can't really fault ourselves uh, or the refs or anybody. It really comes, comes with us and from within leading up to that point. Yeah, it's just a play. I think Plum tried to make a play. The other one made a play. I mean, with one second left on the clock, it can go either way. Um, but like A said, it's, it's about the possessions before that that even led to that moment. You know, if we take care and clean up some things, we're not even in that position. Jackie Powell, High Post Hoops. Um, Coach Lambeer talked about the charter flight that you all took to D.C. Private. 
It was lit. Or, yes. Um, There's so, a difference. So that's what I'm asking. I wanted to know how that affected you guys in your play tonight. Man, I slept so good on that flight. God, like a baby. What? <laughs> so it gave us time to kind of like refresh ourselves. I was still trying to get to Washington. I think that was something that's always good. I mean, I did recovery on the plane. I had ice on my foot. Uh, I had a, I allowed myself to just stretch out, and I think that it paid off. And we were well rested. Uh, we got into the gym, got some shots up. So, hey, the PJ was nice to us. We'll take it anyway. <laughs>